We're in phase two. It's hip concentration, upfield shoulder, receivers, throw your hands at the end so we can work the long arm. Set, go, work, work, there we go, work. We gotta push through, we can't afford to waste one practice out here, okay? We're on the back side now. <laughs> We're on the back side of spring ball, going downhill. We got three important practices this week. Let's get the most out of every one of them, okay? <laughs> hey, Rizzo, two on two! Rizzo. Hey, what day is this? Eight? Three. Day eight. We're bringing our hands with us. We're not fitted. We're bringing them with us and striking the hips. Here we go. And protect the ball, protect your rest. You never know what the ball's gonna be. Alright, you never know what the ball's gonna be. Find it. Find it. Feet! Feet! Now run! Now run! Finish the cut off! Cut him off! Good! It's all about the ball. And so it's it's a it's a turnover day defense and it's a ball security day offense. So let's really be mindful of that and work on those things today. Tuesday! Tuesday! Dub Morris! Hey, come on, y'all. Hey, Ram Jacks on me. Ram Jacks on three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Ten. Here we go. Down, down. Here we go. Bring it down. Hey, Rams on me. Rams on three. One, two, three. Rams. All my life. Been grinding all my life. Sacrifice. Hustle paid the price. Want a slice. Got to roll the dice. That's why. All my life. I've been grinding all my life. Look. All my life. I'm not even gonna barely punch it. You see, it gotta go in, then it'll go up. Good rip off. Executed a high level. Executed a high level. Let's go. After going through all the installs, I think guys are starting to understand it, and uh, we're, we're all getting comfortable with each other. I think that I can go out there and trust a lot of the new transfers coming in, a lot of the freshman receivers. Obviously, having the guys from last year, it helps build, and we don't have to start from, from scratch with them, but I think that the new guys are really understanding it and getting it well. Here we go. Set, go. Hook, rip, pull, good. Hey, it's all about communication. We communicate, we score. I feel really comfortable. Uh, Justice and LB have been on the outside at the ones, and I feel really comfortable throwing them deep shots. And I feel every single time, you know, they get man coverage, I'm willing to go throw it up to them. I know they're going to make a play because that's the, what they've been doing all spring. As we finish up spring, I just want to see our offense moving the ball efficiently, you know, scoring points. And um, you know, that's the biggest thing from last year. We've got to score points, and that starts with me as the quarterback. It's my responsibility to make good plays. So as spring wraps up, that'll, that'll be the biggest thing. A lot of things we can learn, and you should have questions, okay? There's no way that we all know what we're doing out here on all the different adjustments. So come to meetings with questions for your coaches, all right? That's what good players do. Stay nine. It's a wrap. When they go, hey, Mike 45, Mike 45, that would be the guy that they're double teaming to on gap scheme if they're in protection. Yeah, they call the mic out, that's the man side. So if we get a stack out there like in this play, yep. do you stay at five yards depth or just mm -hmm. back up a little bit? Great question, stay at five. Stay at five because he's gonna press that point. He's not gonna let him just release into you. Does that make sense? Alerting ourselves to the run plays, right? But now take it to that next level. Really good clear and quick end here. And then I like how you're getting to your landmark there. That looks like dynamic. Or you look like a DB. No, go make the play. I like it. Here you go. There you go. Here you go, swipe. We expect to get better, all right? We expect to execute to get better and for our units to do their jobs. You older guys, let's put pressure on these guys to do what they're supposed to do, okay? In the D-line room, we, uh, we have a saying, four equals one. And all four of us have to work together as a unit. And at the beginning of spring, it was kind of four guys doing our own thing. And the further and further along we get, the more we are just gelling to become one unit, working together completely. And it has it's made our, our defensive front a lot more dominant. It uh, has allowed us this entire offseason to grind and keep our foot on the gas and not let up at all. Be tight to him, right? Yep, Don't run the wind. Good, stand up. Feet, 
feet. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Hands down, quick hands. There you go, that's better, Cam. Now you got power going vertical. That makes sense, now you got power going vertical. Obviously last season, it was not what we wanted, but we, we've put that behind us. We've moved on, but we, we never forgot that. It, it's lit a spark underneath us. That little thought in the back of our minds, like we're not gonna be that team anymore, allows us to just dig through, push through, and just strive for greatness as an entire team. And there's no one guy's better than the next guy. We all look at each other as equals. I look at the offensive line, the offensive line is dog tired. They look at me, I'm dog tired. Even though we're battling, we can look at each other and we, got, we can be like, let's go. We need this, we need to keep, keep pushing and going. I and mean, then we can all just really push everyone to just strive for the greatness. Woo, another good practice. Just reminding you, you know, we're doing all these scoots and skates to make it muscle memory so we can't, we don't fail in a, in a, in a team setting or a, or a game. Or would, a would you want the tackle to skate it or foot fire it still? You can, you can, you can foot fire, great question. Yeah. You can foot fire it, throw him in the wall and he'll get the point. Okay, and because I'm so off base, I don't land it long, now he's able to pull me down and watch your body right there. You give yourself extension and you've got a chance to play and not be pulled down like that. When we're on the goal line, generally speaking, they're playing one man, one gap. When we get inside the 10, really inside the five, that bump board has got to be the same, but my launch point, my launch timing has got to be faster. Okay, is there any time between 5.45 or 6.30, today's a little later, six Saturday. But right now we're working on two shakes. So it says strawberry, orange, banana. And players usually get their pre-shakes before they um, go and work out. And then we also make them post shakes after they work out. We also do little things like cherry shots where they get like sweet tart cherry juice for like post-workout recovery. Uh, we also do little snacks over there that are like knee stingers. In the mornings we usually focus on getting shakes out. We make about, during regular season, over 100 shakes. And then on the off season, around we're doing probably around 9 today. So it takes a lot of time to get out a couple blenders of them. There you go, stay low, stay low, stay low. Knuckles on the ground. Knuckles on the ground, knuckles on the ground. Take advantage of your opportunities. Be dialed in with your coaches. And let's play as hard as we can, okay? Hey, let's get it today. Let's go, Rams. Hey, Rams on three. One, two, three, Rams. Go take your shot. Catch the ones they throw you, huh? Catch the ones they throw you, right? I think the, the, the culture and the mentality of playing really, really hard, playing fast and thinking about next level football and, and, and guys are bought, bought in, playing together. I think that those guys are, uh, we're moving forward, executing at a higher level. Really pleased with, with how guys are progressing and we're trying to add depth and play as many guys as we can. So we're really challenging guys to improve during the spring. Uh, you got one week left. We got four practices, all right, to finish up spring. We got to get everything we can out of this last week. Everybody's got to keep pushing. You know, a bad drive doesn't equal a bad game. You know, so we want these guys to be able to move on to the next play, overcome adversity. Uh, sometimes the offense is going to make a good play, and we do everything we can to have great leverage, run to the ball, to limit those explosives, and keep points off the board. That's not a time to take a foot off the accelerator at all. we got to keep pushing. You see those guys getting better. They're challenging us. They're pushing us to get better. And that's, that's a sign of a good football team. When the offense is making plays, the defense is making plays, and we're helping each other improve, it's, we're probably going to be pretty good. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hey, let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family.